Hey everyone, today we're going to work on an Anna's Hummingbird, a picture I took in the very border of Arizona and Mexico. Some great hummingbirds down there. Um, took it with the Nikon D850 with the 150 to 600 millimeter lens. Uh, this was at 600, f8 at 1 and 250th, 250th of a second. And uh, this little guy was perched up on this tree and it just made for the perfect shot. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and raise the exposure a little bit. I can tell that I was taking photos as it was getting darker in the evening and not adjusting, but I always wanna stay up a little bit on that shutter speed just in case they take off so I can get a flight picture. But here we go. Let's just raise this a little bit and then we'll mess with contrast to give it a little bit more separation. Highlights, eh, I'll just raise them a little bit. Shadows, we got pretty much good detail in the portrait, so I'm not gonna mess with it. One thing I am gonna do, though, is I'm gonna crop it to about there. I like that, offsets it a little bit. With my whites, as you know, I always hit Option just to see how high I can push it. And you can see over here is when I was pushing it a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit. I always don't wanna trust the, uh, the software telling me the limits. I always like letting my eye do that. So I'm gonna put it about right there. And then same with blacks. I'm going to bring those down a little bit. Gives it a little bit more contrast. White balance. Let's see. I don't want to introduce too much yellow into it. As you can see, it's too warm. So I'll leave it about there. I'll boost vibrance up a little bit see just the beautiful colors here I'm not going to do anything with clarity I'll sharpen afterwards what I am going to do is bring in just a little bit of noise reduction it's a little noisy but not too much that it's going to mess and blur out that what we're going to do no chromatic aberration uh, lens correction minimal I'll add that and now I'll take it into Photoshop and there we go now that I have it in Photoshop I'm going to try a vignette if you've watched my videos before you know, I use the elliptical, bring it over. Go over here, hit the curves. It's already gonna make that adjustment in there for me. Invert it. And let's bring it down a little bit. Not too much, subtle. But it makes a bird pop. Gives it almost kind of a 3D look. Then I'll do the command option shift E. Go up here. Get the high pass. And let's see. I'm seeing a little bit. I'm seeing the, the feathers here. I hit OK. Change the blending to overlay. Look at it before and after. And yeah, it's really making the hairs and the gorget pop. So that looks nice. And then that's pretty much it, what I would do with this image. Um, yeah, I like the way that looks. So yeah, this was a quick and easy one. Um, some of my images are gonna be quick and easy. Some are gonna take a lot more work. Um, 
And the ones that take more work, generally it takes more work within Photoshop. I think the next one I'm gonna do is a portrait. So where I feel like in wildlife, I do a lot more work inside of Lightroom for prep. When it comes to portraits, the majority of the work is done in Photoshop. So we'll dive into that next time. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next video.